16 year old Rashawn Hendricks was a star athlete and a scholar at North Lawndale College Preps Collins campus, whose life was abruptly taken Saturday night when he was shot at a nearby park. Rashawn's basketball coach tells ABC 7 there are no words to describe the grief this school is facing. I've been broken for the last 48 hours. North Lawndale College Prep is grieving the loss of three sport athlete and hardworking junior, 16 year old Rashawn Hendricks. Um, Rashawn's a kid who you always felt like would be safe. Chicago police say Hendricks was shot in the 1200 block of South Fairfield just before 8.30 p.m. Police say two people got out of a dark colored sedan and opened fire. Hendricks was taken to Mount Sinai Hospital where he died. A 13 year old girl was also hit in the shooting and is listed in good condition. You almost can't walk out of the house. Everything has to be so structured in, um, in the youth schedule just to make sure that, you know, they feel safe. Hendricks was one of nine kids and teenagers shot this weekend alone in Chicago. 308 minors have been shot in 2022, according to Chicago police data, 43 of them fatally. Violence is so high, it's hard for them to go to the park. That's Sam Castro of the Institute for Nonviolence Chicago, a nonprofit working to combat gun violence in the city. He says children who are exposed to this level of trauma need to speak with someone about how they are feeling so these experiences don't become normalized. Thinking about the mental health approach and getting them to open up to clinicians to talk about it. I think about myself and I got shot at the age of three. I never talked about it. I never released that until I got older. As North Lawndale mourns together, Redmond says love is what will heal this heartbroken community. With that village comes a village of love and that every kid needs to feel the type of love that Rashawn felt in his home. Chicago police say following the shooting death of Hendricks, no one is in custody and area four detectives are investigating.